Come on, little guys. Morning, guys. Welcome back to another episode of an Aussie Farming in the Philippines. Well, it's Tuesday. It's sort of rain on off again again. Bloody hell, I tell you. The rain's supposed to stop by March. Well, we've only got a month, a day to go, haven't we? So, um, let's see how we go today. Well, yesterday was a very productive day for us. Here, put your tucker here. Oh! Hello, girlfriend. What's off? Hey, girlfriend, look what daddy's got for you. Look what daddy got. Look, look what daddy got. Look what daddy got. Look, 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 look. Oh, yum. Papaya. Oh, mama pig, you still love papaya, I tell you. She would just... Oh. So, I'm getting... When we have some, I'm bringing for her. And she's going all right. So, yesterday we went into the bow. We had to pick up my ACR card that we did a couple of weeks ago. So, every five years, you've got to renew it. Fucking pain in the ass, I tell you. So, we had all that done. We had to go back again on that first one because... I picked mine up from Manila when I was flying off to Vietnam to work up there as a uh, fire expert up in um, Vietnam in the refinery. And, of course, apparently there was a receipt, a piece of paper receipt for some fucking thing that um, we didn't have. But they give, us, they give us the contacts and they said, well, if you contact records department in at Manila, um, they will give you the copy. Well, why don't you fucking do it? You know, like, fuck me. So we had, they, they wouldn't do it like They could have just got on the phone and said, Hey, Kathy, it's Jane here. Hey, pull out Mr. Williams' file, will you please, Dolls, and fucking find out and email it down to me now, Dolls. Oh, thanks, Dolls. You're fucking wonderful, Dolls. Oh, thank you, girlfriend. You're gorgeous, too. No, they say you have to do it yourself. They don't give you any contacts or anything. So she had to talk to a couple of departments before she finally got the records department. So anyway, we go back again and it's done. So now they send out a... Um, I sent out a message to Chick and said, um, oh, your, your ACR card's ready to be picked up again. So it's okay. So here we go, all the way fucking in there again, pick it up. We're in and out within five minutes, you know. And we've got this bloody, this guy, he's an intern, all right. This will, this will get all the trolls going, calling me a bitch again. So they've got this intern, and he's like, they, they give the card out of the little lock-up box, you know, little money lock-up box type thing. And he looks at me passport, and he's flipping through it all. The chicken and I are looking at each other going, and he's flipping through it, and he's looking at the dates, and he's looking at this. Then he goes to, he goes to one of the superiors and says, oh, but he's got two eyes in this. What, what, what is that? She goes, no, it's two L's, William, W-I-L-L. -L. And he goes, oh, so he's back again, he's flicking. He's going, oh, the dates are all wrong. You know, and I'm, like, I'm looking at Chick and going, well, they've fucking processed this for how long? What's this intern who's just got to hand me the fucking card got to do with the date, right? So um, finally, they call it, they go, yeah, because the date is blah, 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 blah. I go, oh, you know, that fucking stupid bloody, oh. Well, I better go and see my boyfriend and he might explain it to me better. So after being dicked around for about five minutes with this idiot intern, then they go, here you go, sign here, please. And it's like... What the fuck's all this about? You know, so we saw it. Five minutes in and out. But to get there took us two hours to get there. The, we get with the traffic going through the airport way. It's pr pretty, um, pretty busy. Once you get to the airport, it just fans out quite good you know, along that road. However, they're doing roadworks at halfway between here and the airport turn off road. And um, they've got three lanes that go down into one. So they've done half the road. So this is the road. They've done half the road here, cemented it all up and done it all, put the pipe through, and they've stopped it. Okay? And now this one here they're doing. So all these three lanes coming down here have got to come to one lane here. All these three lanes here have got to come into one lane here. And there's two little lanes there, six into two. It took us 20 minutes to go 200 metres. 20 minutes to go 200 metres. And of course, because it's three lanes, the, no, it was four lanes. No, three lanes, three or four lanes, anyway. It ended up turning into five. Then you got these five lanes trying to turn into fucking one. And it's like, it's, it's all crunching up because they're not like the Western world, right? Like the Western world, they go one for one. So if there's two lanes, two lanes going into one lane and they're merging, Okay, left lane will put one car, right lane will put one car, left lane will put one, right lane will put one. That's how they fucking do it. You know, the humans, they're fucking civilised, they've got a fucking brain. But here, 
it's a fucking free for all, mate. I tell you, seriously, an absolute free for all. And I piss a lot of them off when I'm driving because someone would be in front, right, trying to turn in front of me to turn down the down the road to the side. So I'll stop and let them through, and I'll stop the traffic. You know, because this guy's been sitting there for probably ten fucking minutes because all these pig-headed fucking expats driving down the road, not fucking giving away to them. So I'll stop for them. You know, it's all, I do that a lot, and it pisses it pisses them off a lot because it's like, well, this guy just keep fucking driving. He's always stopping letting people in and out. You know. But oh well, not to worry, not to worry. Right, today, Dave Greenslade, happy birthday to you. Dave Greenslade's birthday today. And as you know, Dave is a big supporter of us on our channel. So thank you very much, Dave. Happy birthday to you. We'll be chatting with you on Facebook later on, for sure, when Chick Chick gets up, because it's too early for Chick Chick yet. She doesn't get up till 6.30. I don't fancy that sleeping in till 6.30. Bloody lazy bastards. Bastards! Let me out. Let me through. Oh, I've got to catch that little bugger. Gotta catch that little bugger there. So what happened is, here's one for you, Bob. I'll shut this door up so I'll keep him in. What's happened is, I've got these little bastards, some running around on the floor. And I'm like, what the fuck's going on here? So what they're doing is, see like this one here, look, he's escaped, look. So there's a hole up here. Oh. Here you so there's a hole up here on the netting and there's a hole here as well and if I don't have I didn't have these doors on so they're jumping through there and jumping out like yesterday afternoon there's half a dozen of them on the floor and I'm going what the fuck's going on here like I've got no mothers in this I've got no young and teen what the hell's going on so what I've got to do is, I've got to replace the, the plastic on the door of the turkey house. So I'm going to buy a few metres and do the inside panels, the two inside panels of um, the, the hotels. Fucking weird shit, eh? Weird shit. Hey, young Big Red. <laughs> Big Red. Oh! Anyway. No, don't put your head on it. All right. Now go get my half-blind guy out. So a lot of these girls are going in the pot next week. Hello. Oh, he's out already. All right. <coughs> this guy's blind in one eye. So he normally walks around with his head turned onto the side. Look. Morning, guys. You gonna come out? Huh? Huh? It's all right. Just wait, it's coming. Ugh. Oh, fuck off. Come on, back over here. Come on, one eye. I have to call him pirate, I think. Hey, I'm a pirate. I'm a pirate, hey. Hoy, I'm a pirate. Well, what a great day. Oh. So the bamboo harvest going well for the guys. I said it's a win-win for both of us. So it's, um, they, they get free free bamboo where it's only cost them 120 a pole so they're getting free bamboo out of that and uh, me what we're getting out of it is um we're getting it cleaned up what are you doing out what happens we we're getting it cleaned up for free so it's a win-win situation for both of us you know like i said that to papa years ago i said papa just get him to come and take the bloody bamboo away as long as it's not we're not paying to have it done you know we're ahead Oh no, we get one down, I'll get, I'll get them for oh, 7,000, 7,000 a mat. Oh. I'm not saying that, I'm not even going there. I'm not even going there after these last two fails. Like, fuck me, Papa I should go to the Behovel and live on Bahal because it's nothing but fucking fail, fail, fail. You know, him on Bahal would have a great teamwork with a fat failing farmer, I tell you. But don't get me going there. Don't get me going there. This is fucking cat. Oh, I hate rubbish around. Whenever I see rubbish, I pick it up and put it in the bin. So that's the difference between keeping a clean farm and having a shithole. Is that when you see something on the ground, pick it up. Don't just walk over it. And I'll tell you, it 
took me a long time to teach Kulut that, you know, and um, because they used to just throw everything on the ground. You know, like, well, you, you stand there talking with their kids and they'll be eating a packet of chips and they'll just eat, eat the snack and they'll just throw it straight on the ground. So it took me a while. You can't change habit, right? And especially when a kid was brought up that way, like the kids in the Philippines, there's that much rubbish at the front street because their parents do it and they do it. So it's take years to change them, years to fucking years and years and years. So I used to say to Kulut, whenever you see anything on the ground, pick it up and put it in the bin, you know? And my day was out on the ride on mower and there was a piece of paper, a rag, something come across from the other side. And I said to him, stop. I said, pick that up first before you mow. And I got the Filipino salute, you know, like, I said, Claude, it's easy to pick up one piece instead of you hitting it with the mower and it turns into a hundred pieces. Uh, so he stops, turns off the mower, picks up. But um, if you keep, people say, oh, your farm is just so clean. It is clean because whenever there's something on the ground, I pick it up. You know, something can come out from the rubbish, from the chickens, something can blow across from over here with Louis walking up and down, dropping his fucking rubbish. You know, the drink boys come in and change the water over and something can fall off the truck. But whatever happens, if you pick it up when it happen, when you see it, you have a clean farm, guys. You know, a clean farm. Right. All right, then. So a lot of comments yesterday on, um, was it last days it's been raining, so we're just doing some cooking, catching up on cooking, which is quite good. Quite good indeed, because I love cooking, seriously. Love cooking. You see lots of it in the Middle East. But in the Middle East, you get great products in the Middle East. You got products from all over the world. You used to get fresh lobsters from um, Scotland, and they're still alive. You know, they're still alive. Looking at you, you know, when you when you go into buy them, you buy fresh, fresh um, snails even from France. But um, all, all, all the prawns, believe it or not, used to come from the, the Philippines. These massive big king prawns. These would be four different sizes. You get from there. But um, everything we got, even um, uh, oysters, oysters from France. You know, and it was just all in little, all little wooden boxes, and you know, still all alive. Everything's fresh and just. God, you see a lot of cooking there. You see a lot of drinking too. I tell you, but <laughs> that's another story. Don't get me going there, you bastards, bastards. All right, well, Dave, happy birthday to you, Dave Doing Slade. Happy birthday to you. Hope you're having a great day today. And remember, guys, please share, subscribe, and like. Hit that like button. Okay, that means a lot to our channel when um, YouTube's going through doing their selections. And it's uh, hit that like, hit that like, hit that like. So we uh, reached 3,000 subscribers, I think yesterday, day before, whatever. Yee! Considering fucking the old channel, we had like 3,500 videos and um, 10,500 subscribers all within a year. And then um, the, uh, the fat boys, trolls, attacked us. And we lost the channel, but not to worry. We're back again, we're strong again, so um, who cares, you know? If I lose it again because of the trolls, who cares, we'll just start again. You know, we don't mind. You know, it's, not, it's not like some people who rely on it completely. The only thing I rely on is my wife. You know, I'll be fucked without her, I tell you. All right, guys, share, subscribe, bye-bye. I'll catch you all later. I'm going to finish feeding all the animals. So we've got a lot to do today. Ciao.